Have you ever wondered what it takes to become an astronaut? Or how NASA and European Space Agency, the world's leading space agencies, prepare their astronauts for the extraordinary challenges of space exploration? Becoming an astronaut is no ordinary feat. It requires exceptional physical and mental capabilities as well as an extensive knowledge in various scientific fields. From survival skills to spacewalks, the training process is a long journey filled with intense exercises and simulations. In this video, we'll take you behind the scenes giving you a glimpse into the rigorous training, high-tech simulations and cutting-edge technologies used to simulate space conditions and to shape these extraordinary individuals into space-ready pioneers. Let's get started. My name is Siddharth and you're watching The World of Science. When astronauts leave the comforts of Earth, they encounter an entirely different set of challenges. From the intense forces encountered during launch to the weightless wonders of orbiting and the intricate maneuvers of spacewalking, their minds and bodies must adapt to an entirely different realm. To adapt to these physical and mental challenges, astronauts undergo a complex and extensive training regime that includes medical tests, physical exercises, extravehicular activities or EVA simulations, rehabilitation as well as specialized training on the experiments they'll conduct in space. And it doesn't stop there. Space agencies also utilize virtual and simulation systems to prepare for various scenarios and develop effective strategies to overcome any obstacle they might encounter. First of all, astronaut recruitment is no walk in the park. Oh no, it's a fiercely competitive game that sets heart racing. Whether it's NASA or the European Space Agency, aspiring astronauts face a rigorous selection process. To give you an idea, European Space Agency has recruited new astronauts only three times since 1978. For European Space Agency, candidates endure a challenging period of three to four years before their first journey into space, while at NASA, candidates have to undergo two years of training to become qualified astronauts. So what does this training actually involve? Well, it all begins with the foundation of technical and soft skills that all candidates must master. They undergo training on Soyuz and International Space Station modules, becoming intimately familiar with the inner workings of these spacefaring marvels. As the training progresses, candidates dive into an impressive lineup of 16 different technical courses covering everything from life support systems to orbital mechanics, payload development, Earth observations, space physiology and even medicine. It's like attending the most mind-boggling space school ever. The first phase, that is basic training, lasts for 12 months, where candidates are introduced to basic concepts of space flight, rocket propulsion systems, space station systems, space walking, and survival techniques. Additionally, they are also taught different languages, generally the languages of member teams of the International Space Station, such as Russian, enabling seamless communication with their international crewmates. By the way, even you can learn about the workings of rockets and their propulsion systems by launching your own rockets thanks to Rocketeers. Rocketeers make high-quality, solid-fuel-powered model rocket kits that you can launch up to a height of 800 feet. They are the first and only startup who are working on model rocketry in India with solid fuel power. While doing this, they've engaged more than 250,000 students and have flown more than 150,000 rockets so far. They've also partnered with ISRO and created official merchandise to raise awareness about the works of ISRO. You can order these rocket kits and official ISRO merchandise from their website rocketeers.in. Use the coupon code RWS for an exclusive 15% off on all products. Link is in the description below. Now let's get back to our aspiring astronauts. After completing the primary training phase, European Space Agency candidates receive their well-deserved graduation certification. But the journey doesn't end there. Once they have crossed this significant milestone, they become eligible for an assignment in a real mission and go through a period of pre-assignment training which further sharpens their skills and knowledge. At NASA, candidates learn about teamwork by taking flight in NASA T-38 training jets. 
These pilots log over a thousand approaches before landing, providing an unforgettable experience similar to what it would look like to land a spacecraft in such a way. But it's not just science and technology classes for these aspiring astronauts. They also refine their skills in various disciplines, including medical procedures and media interactions. It's like they're preparing to be the ultimate jack-of-all-trades in space. Or maybe the masters. The next stage for any astronaut candidate is to get a feel of a virtual situation that they will experience in space. For that, they practice on life-size models of launch capsules and space shuttle orbiters, which they call mock-ups. NASA takes it up a notch with its mind-blowingly large space vehicle mock-up facility inside Johnson Space Center, where astronauts train in simulated space environment under the watchful eye of experts. But the training locations don't end there. Astronauts also venture into international partner sites for specialized training. From the bustling city of Houston in the USA to the Roscosmos Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Moscow, JAXA's Tsukuba Space Center near Tokyo, and even the St. Hubert Montreal facility of the Canadian Space Agency, they go where the training takes them. Now, let's get to the ultimate test for astronauts, the microgravity training. NASA has a unique approach to adapting astronauts to weightlessness using its Weightless Wonder or as it's affectionately called, the Vomit Comet. This specialized jet aircraft provides 20 to 25 seconds of microgravity as it performs parabolic maneuvers. The aircraft then returns to the original altitude and the sequence is repeated up to 40 times in a day. These gravity-defying moments can leave even the most seasoned astronauts feeling nauseous and sometimes vomit. It's undoubtedly the most crucial part of their training as understanding and adapting to microgravity is essential for their spacefaring adventures. And let's not forget, in the frictionless environment of space, even the simplest movements can become a real challenge. That's why NASA trains its astronauts on the precision air-bearing floor, learning how to gracefully maneuver and move large objects in the vacuum of space. But what about those iconic spacewalks? Well, to master the art of extravehicular activities, astronauts take a dive, quite literally. They dive into the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, an enormous swimming pool that stretches an impressive 62 meters in length, 31 meters in width and 12 meters in depth. Holding a staggering 22.7 million liters of water, this underwater training pool allows astronauts to put on their spacesuits and practice their spacewalk maneuvers while floating underwater in full-size models of space vehicles for nearly 7 hours a time. Once an astronaut is selected for a specific mission, the real fun begins. Mission-specific training kicks off, during which they learn the intricate details and experimental work required for their upcoming voyage. Collaborating closely with their fellow international crew members, each astronaut is assigned specific roles and responsibilities. They become a cohesive team, working harmoniously to accomplish their mission objectives and return safely to Earth. It's the ultimate test of teamwork, skill and determination. Take a moment to let this all sink in. Astronauts, my friends, are true superheroes. They represent the epitome of bravery and dedication undertaking one of the most challenging jobs on Earth. A single mistake can cost millions of dollars and most importantly, precious lives. That's why their training procedures are so extreme, leaving no room for error. Even after reaching space, their training doesn't stop. They rely on simulators on board, consult manuals and study video explainers, constantly striving to expand their knowledge and skills. They courageously risk their lives in the pursuit of scientific discovery, embarking on an endless quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. They deserve our utmost respect and admiration. So, did you enjoy this video? Let us know in the comments. If being an astronaut is a bit too much for you, look out for our upcoming video where we list down other major roles that you can choose in the space field. Don't forget to check out Rocketeers.in to get your own model rockets to launch. Make sure you subscribe to the world of science. Until next time, stay scientific.